may or may not come as a shocker to some of y'all, but I am a pro liquor. I've got the sixth sense about what makes female genitalia feel good, and I can lick it up and down from dusk till dawn. But not just any old twat hole. No, when a stranger calls, I'm not automatically running out the door, okay? I don't get caught up in the fog of sexual desire. Because I've been with the crazies. These gals who think they're the queen of the damn world. Sacco, insidious gals who hold the grudge and then use sex against you. Get those types out of your life. Even if she does the thing on the stuff that you love. Erase her head from your life, from your mind. I did. It is not worth the misery. Not that I'm perfect, okay? I've had my share of being a hellraiser. I got a very early start. I indulged in a little child's play at sleepaway camp. In the dead of night, in a cabin in the woods with a couple of redhead twins, two little ginger snaps who would mimic the other's scissoring. 28 days later, I'm back in school, and my whole life has been the conjuring of finding new ways to lick a twat hole. Ugh, I lick it like it was the candy, man. Ugh. But my favorite type of badge to get into is one that hadn't been touched in a long time. You know, the dead zone. Got a guy like that right at the top of my street. Last house on the left. Don't take a wrong turn, okay? And there she was, all alone in the dark, needing my loving. I had to get in there with my tongue and reanimate her. Yeah, be her oral stem godsend. Watch it pulse. Help her reach the shining final destination. That fantastic orgasm. The phantasm. Oh, the ring of her scream. And I just keep dabbing with my tongue as the tremors. One, two, three, and four subsided. Oh, Mac Hard.